realize what's going on. You can zoom out and see sort of from a meta perspective what's really going on. You can start to notice that maybe you're sliding into a toxic sense of life purpose, or maybe you just notice that there's a, a void in your heart and in your soul. Uh, a lack of meaning that needs to be filled. And it's going to get filled one way or another. So that being the case, you might as well take conscious control of it and decide how you want to fill it. So that you're living the kind of life that has the kind of impact on the world that you want it to have. So rather than starting your your thought process like this, like, well, what kind of job would earn me the most money and get me the most sex and get me a bigger house? Rather than thinking that way, or thinking like this, I guess this, is, this would be a more modern way, the way that people think these days, like, what kind of, what kind of videos could I post on YouTube that would get the most clicks, the most subscribers, or what kind, what kind of video or content could I produce for, for TikTok or something or Facebook that would get the most views and the most fans to like me. Rather than thinking that way, think the opposite way, which is what kind of impact do I want my life to have on others in the world? Regardless of money or material stuff or anything, what kind of impact do I want my life to have? What do I want to help people to do, to understand, to realize, to feel. How do I want to make people feel? Do I want to make them feel loving or fearful? Do I want to make them feel abundant or scarce? Do I want to make them feel unlimited or limited? Do I want to make them feel big or small? Do I want to inspire them with art and music? Or do I want to drive them down some sort of um, negative, depressing, toxic ideological rabbit hole. See, and then from that, you decide what that should be, what kind of impact you want to have. And then you kind of reverse engineer your entire life and adjust every aspect of your life to fit with that. Now, of course, this is not easy at all to do. You might say, well, Leo, yeah, that sounds great in theory, but how do you actually do it? That's very hard to do. It's easy for you to say, Leo, you have a lot of money and you're successful and popular. So yeah, you can do that. But uh, how do I do that? Well, but what you don't understand is that the reason that I'm successful and popular right now is because when I first began this whole process 10 years ago of constructing a life according to the kind of conscious purpose that I want, I had nothing. I had very little money. I had no success per se and no fame and no prospects of it. And I didn't even know exactly what my purpose is or what it should be. I had various multiple purposes and I wasn't sure how to select them. And I wasn't sure how to accomplish it, how to actualize it, how to make it tangible. And so I went through a process of Years, years of, of trial and error, experimentation, research and reading. And that's ultimately what got me into personal development. Um, and, and then that led me to spirituality and so forth. So it, the whole, my entire life, basically, my, my adult life, um, my sort of actualized life, uh, started from, from that point of, of just that I knew, deep down in my heart, I knew that I needed to make my life count. I wanted my life to be meaningful. I knew that if I was working some dead-end job, that that would be a recipe for disaster in my life. That would be a huge strategic blunder. And I see that this is perhaps one of the most common strategic blunders that ordinary people make all throughout their life is that they don't consciously develop a life purpose. Because our culture doesn't tell us that this is something that's important. And yet it is so important.